for Dunleary and Louise O'Reilly, Sinn Féin spokesperson on workers' rights, enterprise, trade and employment. Louise, to you first. You've kind of been outflanked by Fine Gael, Fianna Fáil and the Greens here, haven't you? Not at all. Um, of course, we haven't. I mean, we haven't seen as yet all of the detail. What we have uh, are a series of targeted leaks. Um, indeed, yeah, we know. Like we pretty much know what's in the budget. The well, indeed, yeah. But we'll we'll wait for the official announcement <laughs> as well, because uh, as as always the case, and, and often the case with this government, the devil will be in the detail. What Sinn Fein had hoped the budget would do, and and what I think it doesn't do, is we hoped it would target low and middle incomes and we also hope that it would give a modicum of certainty to people who are very worried coming into winter about how they're going to keep the the lights on and and keep their houses warm so people will test this budget not against and i don't mean this disrespectfully shame but not against how many thousands uh, radio presenters get but against Sorry, I, I, uh, what I was it just does. merely making the point <laughs> I, I understand and that. I'm not no, saying no, and, 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 and to but, be but honest the, the I'm not convinced it's a good thing it's not going to be what, it, what yeah. the budget does but sorry uh, Louise no, hang on I, I, I do need to respond to that I do need to respond to that I wasn't making the argument I should get it I, I'm not convinced I should at all oh, I, I, I don't no, think no. so and, and, and I was making a different point what I'm saying is the test of this budget won't be what it does for people who are on high incomes it will be what it does for those who are on low to middle incomes what it does for renters what it does for those people who, young people who are effectively locked out of the opportunity of secure accommodation, that's going to be the true test. And if it stays true to the leaks, well then, and I acknowledge there are some measures that that I would support in this, there are some that are lifted straight out of the Sinn Féin alternative budget, indeed you can see that, but what will test this budget will be how it delivers for those on low to middle incomes, for renters okay. and for young people. And I don't think it passes the test. Jennifer, Carol McNeil, it doesn't pass that test for low and middle income. Well, it's that, they, they, what it does exactly is target low and middle incomes, the squeezed middle, to be able to provide support to them through tax cuts, through supports, I hope, for energy bills, through reducing the fixed costs that every family is facing, whether it's childcare costs, student costs, whether it's healthcare costs, free primary school books. That was in the Twin Gale 2020 manifesto. That is something that I'm really hoping to see delivered today. The constituents of mine in Dunleary are facing huge, facing huge childcare costs. It's something we've been campaigning on for a considerable period now and I hope that they'll see a big difference in that and it's the combined effect of tax cuts and of reducing the structural uh, costs that we can without trying to add to inflation. Taking these big measures now without trying to add too much fuel to the fire as we've seen elsewhere um, in the UK for, in particular to try to target squeeze middle, the, the families that are really facing rising energy bills and whether or not you're a radio presenter or anybody else, bills are going up for everybody. And maybe there are. I'm I sorry I mentioned it at this stage. Right. But it's possible. <laughs> but I but I understand what you're saying because it's quite possible that there are people listening this morning who who haven't felt the pinch just yet. You know, who haven't felt the pinch of rising energy bills or other costs. And what government can see is that there really is a tightness coming. That there really is a difficulty coming. And we are fortunately in the position where we have money arising from avoiding the budget deficit that we anticipated. The extra four point okay. five billion. And we have kept some of that back, Shane. It's really important to say, because unlike Sinn Féin, who will just write this blank cheque to energy companies and spend everything that they have right now, we are keeping something back because we know we don't know how long this crisis is going to last. And it's important to be prudent as well. Louise, is your energy cap, is it it writing a a blank cheque? Uh, and also uh, encouraging people to keep using electricity without any any concerns uh, about supply. No, well, I think people have already uh, really, really, um, you know, changed their their own circumstances, changed their their energy use. But I think what the government wants is for ordinary families and workers to write a blank check for energy companies. What Sinn Féin are saying is that workers and families and people who are dreading the winter. You see, what when uh, Deputy Carol McNeil talks about, you know, that the government know that a squeeze is coming. That, to me, speaks to how out of touch the government are, because actually the squeeze is here on people on normal wages, low to middle incomes. They're already struggling. They're not they're not waiting to they're not, they're not going to struggle in the winter. They're struggling now, which is what why they want is what they want is certainty. Yeah. So they want to know that they're going to be able to keep the lights on, keep their houses warm and they want to be able to. So that's what the energy. Just before I let just, just before Jennifer comes and in, it will give those families certainty. When you say they're struggling at the moment, how I mean, most people haven't turned the heating on yet. 
because the cost of living is going up and a lot of people have had to turn their heating on. If you're on a fixed income, if you're on disability, if you have to keep your home warm, if you haven't, if you're on a 27 month waiting list like people are okay. for the government's retrofit programme. OK, well, let, let Jennifer come back in. There, the cost, there, sorry, just let me finish. The cost of everything else is going up. The cost of food is going up. The cost of fuel is going up. If you live okay. in rural no, we have your point. We, we have your point, Louise. I want, I want to, to let Jennifer come back in here. As Deputy Riley well knows what I said was if there are people like radio presenters perhaps, who haven't felt it yet. There are people right across the board who are. But what I find really difficult with Sinn Féin's budget is that if you're at 40,000 euros, all you're going to get from Sinn Féin is a 300 euro payment. It's just not enough. So Sinn Féin speak out of both sides of their mouth every day. On the one hand, deal, you know, support lower middle income workers, but they only give you 300 euros. What we're talking about is energy supports. What we're talking about is tax cuts. What we're talking about is reduction in structural costs right across the board. It's a much better support for middle income workers, for the squeezed middle. And by the way, you can be on €60,000 and have a number of children and have huge costs going out of your house and have absolutely nothing left. Sinn Féin will do nothing for you if you're at €70,000. Sinn Féin will do nothing for you, no matter what your outgoings, no matter what your pressures. This government is trying to support everybody, to target the squeeze middle, to provide extra supports for those at the most vulnerable side of things. But it is a support that everybody will need. Let Louise respond to that. Louise? So, um, I mean, I would encourage uh, Deputy Carol McNeil to actually read our budget and indeed engage with the details. So, and, and some sense, the, the difference between having it in your hand and reading it, you should read it. But I think, uh, you know, what the point that Deputy Carol McNeil misses is that, in fact, workers are struggling at the moment. They're struggling with childcare costs. They need help, but they need it immediately. So we welcome that the government are going to do, finally do something on childcare, which is a very long standing policy of Sinn Féin's. What we don't see from them is the urgency. So Sinn Féin would cut the cost of childcare by two thirds and we would do it over one calendar year. That speaks directly to those people who are are struggling if you're renting and an awful lot of people are if you're earning 50,000 60,000 euros or less and you're renting you are really up against it at the moment and the what the government have offered what we hear from the leaks it's going to be swallowed up immediately by increases in rent and by inflation so what we need to do is freeze rents and we need to put a month's rent back into renters pockets okay. because all right let Jennifer, let Jennifer come in so to, those people Jennifer lack of urgency Gen- Jennifer Carol McNeil lack of urgency you're not doing enough for renters page well. 14 of their own budget an income with an individual with an income of 40,000 would receive a payment of 300 quid but individuals with income of 70,000 no matter what other pressures they're on will not receive a payment will not receive support from Sinn Féin it just doesn't matter how much costs. pressure well, you're just under one voice, just one voice just, just let but Jennifer what, finish the point what, and then what Louise what will do for that group which are really really struggling really the squeeze middle is provide reductions in structural costs like childcare reductions in healthcare and a targeted package of income tax reductions which is so important and just puts money back in people's pockets to let them decide how to use it, to let them decide what to do while reducing structural costs at the same time. Fine Gael is supporting that group. Sinn Féin couldn't care less. OK, N- uh, Louise O'Reilly. That's rubbish. Um, in fact, if you look at the overall package, those people who have to pay childcare would benefit most under Sinn Féin's budget. Those people who have to put diesel in their car would benefit most under Sinn Féin's budget. So to pick out one single line item is absolutely nonsensical. I certainly won't do that when their budget is published. But as I've said, the true test, the true test of this budget would be will it deliver for low and middle income workers will it deliver for renters will it deliver for those on fixed income will it give families certainty coming into the winter and so far from what we have heard it won't it will fail spectacularly but you can see that Sinn Féin have absolutely nothing to say about anybody who's a middle or income worker or people who have significant costs they have nothing to say about supporting businesses who are employers who are trying to keep people in work all over winter long and and they and and they're and and that's their that's their target that's fine that's their political position position. But what we're trying to do is support every household, every individual and every business to try to keep the, rec- the to try to keep what we have uh, the, the strong fiscal position that we have oh. now money available to support people when they need it and keeping something back for next year because we don't know how long this crisis will last and we, we refuse to write the blank cheque that Sinn Féin Louise, are so interested in. in a word, in. a very final word from you. We want to see people have certainty to get through this winter and the government are not giving them that. So Louise. people are worried about their bills today. They're going to be worried tomorrow after we Louise, hear from this government. Louise and O'Reilly, that's unfortunate. Sinn Féin spokesperson on workers' rights, enterprise, trade and employment. Jennifer Carroll McNeil, Fine Gael TD for Dunleary. Thank you both uh, for uh, joining us uh, on News Talk Breakfast this morning.